8, verse number 1. And the Bible says, There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. At kung tagalogin natin ang Bible, ang sabi ng Bible, uh, ngayon nga ay wala nang kahatulan or hatol. Wala nang hatol sa kanila na na kay Kristo Jesus. Sila ang mga lumalakad na hindi ayon sa laman, kundi ayon sa Espiritu. <clears throat> And so, ang nais kong um, bigyang diin ngayon ay ang unang bahagi ng verse number 1. Tingnan mo yung verse number one, yung unang bahagi. There, there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. There's no condemnation to them who are in Christ Jesus. Ngayon, nga ay wala ng hatol or kahatulan sa kanila na na kay Kristo. <clears throat> And so, sa mga modernong salin, In the new translations, they got rid of the second part of the verse where it says, uh, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. That's not found in the New King James. That's not found in the modern English version. Even the more conservative Bibles don't have it. And uh, I, I, see, I see there's uh, trouble online, but that's okay. <clears throat> we'll work through. We'll work, we'll work it out. Anyway, So sa mga modernong Bible, tinanggal na yung ikalawang bahagi. No? Pero ang, ang message natin this morning ay, ay doon sa unang bahagi na sinabi ng Bible, ngayon nga ay wala ng kahatulan sa kanila na na kay Kristo Jesus. There is no condemnation for them who are in Christ Jesus. And so, uh, nais kong bigyan diin ito at pakinggan natin muli yung bahagi na sinasabi ng Bible sa verse number one. There is now, there is therefore now no condemnation. No condemnation to them who are in Christ Jesus. Now it doesn't say uh, for them who are in church. That's not what the Bible says. It doesn't say for them who are uh, nice Christians. It doesn't say that. It doesn't say uh, there's no condemnation to the religious crowd. No. Uh, the only requirement for no condemnation is for the person to be found in Christ Jesus. If you're in Christ, there is now therefore no condemnation. Wala hong hatol sa mga na kay Kristo. Hindi ho sinabi ng Bible, wala nang hatol para sa mga nasa simbahan, para sa mga nasa loob ng iglesia, para sa mga nasa loob ng mga relihiyon. Hindi ho yan ang turo ng Bible. Ang sabi ng Bible, wala hong kahatulan ang tao na na kay Kristo. Kaya yun ang mahalaga, yun ang bigyan mong pansin. Ikaw ba ay may tunay na pananampalataya, pananalig sa Panginoong Yeso Kristo? O baka... Uh, nananalig ka sa Panginoon pero dinadagdagan mo pa ng mga kandila o yung mga kailangan isuot mo yung agimat <laughs> kailangan gumawa ka pa ng mga ritual para maging katanggap-tanggap sa Diyos kaibigan hindi ho yan ang sabi ng Bible huwag kang umasa sa imbento ng tao sa tradisyon sa gawa ng tao kailangan siguraduhin mo na ikaw ay na kay Kristo kaibigan kung na kay Kristo ka Iwanan mo na yung mga kandila, yung mga usok. <laughs> Iwanan mo na yung mga ritual. Iwanan mo na yung mga gawa-gawa ng kamay ng tao o eh, pilosopiya ng tao. Umasa ka kay Kristo lang at yon ang tunay na kaligtasan ng Diyos. <clears throat> Now, um, <clears throat> ang tunay na paghahanda ay na kay Kristo at wala sa ating sarili. I want to stress this first point. It's so important. That the way to prepare to meet God has nothing to do with self, but has everything to do with being in Christ. Are you in Christ? If you are in Christ, 
then you can have salvation. Then you can know that kung maaari ko na hikayatin ka at ibigay itong diin, ito'y napaki-importante, ihagis mo ang iyong sarili ng buong buo sa pamamagitan ng pananampalataya. Ihagis mo ang iyong sarili sa Panginoong Heso Kristo at ikaw ay maliligtas. Kahit sino ka, kahit ano yung background mo, kahit ano ang iyong mga pangyayari, kung tunay na umaasa ka kay Kristo, ikaw ay maliligtas. Kung buo ang pananampalataya mo sa Kanya lamang. Now, <clears throat> Ang lahat ng paghahanda para sa kamatayan ay ganap na wala sa iyong sarili at ganap na na kay Kristo Jesus lamang. All the preparation that you need for the time that you're going to meet God is already finished and accomplished not by you but by Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Kung sa pamamagitan ng pananampalataya ay naranasan mo ang kapatawaran ng iyong kasalanan o nakamtan mo ang dugo ng Panginoong Heso Kristo sa iyong kaluluwa sa pamamagitan ng pananampalataya. Nasuot mo ang, sa iyong espiritu ang katwiran ng Diyos. Maaari kang lumitaw sa harap ng Diyos na ganap, malaya, pinatawad at maging katanggap-tanggap sa Diyos magpakailanman. Dahil kay Heso Kristo. Oh, if you ever experience faith in the Lord, you know that by faith you can receive Him as your Lord and Savior. By faith you can trust in Him and know that He forgives you of your sin and He cleanses your soul and He clothes you in His righteousness and He puts peace in your heart. And, and, and through faith you can be acceptable unto God the Father because of the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Again, it has nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with Jesus Christ. Kaya, kaibigan, uh, asahan mo na ito ay gawa ng Panginoong Heso Kristo. Look over in Ephesians chapter 1. <clears throat> Ephesians chapter 1 and verse number 6. Get your Bibles, Ephesians chapter 1. And verse number 6. Look at what the Bible says. Ephesians chapter 1, verse number 6. To the praise of the glory of His grace, wherein He hath made us accepted in the Beloved. Yon, Ephesians chapter 1, verse number 6. Siya ang gumawa ng paraan upang tayo ay maging katanggap-tanggap. So, ang paghahanda ay gawa ko ng Panginoong Yeso Kristo. Go over to Colossians chapter 2 and verse number 10. Colossians chapter 2, verse number 10. <laughs> Colossians chapter 2, verse number 10. And ye are complete in Him. Ye are complete in Him. At kayo ay kompleto. Sa Kanya, sa, sa, kay Kristo Jesus. Kompleto tayo sa Kanya. Walang pagkukulang. Kung ikaw ay na kay Kristo, wala hong pagkukulang ang buhay na walang hanggan. Walang pagkukulang sa kapangyarihan ng Diyos. Walang pagkukulang pag namatay ka, derecho ka sa langit. Hindi dahil sa iyong tradisyon. Hindi dahil sa iyong gawa. Kundi dahil kompleto ka kay Heso Kristo. Ah, ang emphasis natin ay sumampalataya ka kay Kristo, kaibigan. Now, <clears throat> bakit kay Kristo at hindi sa atin? Bakit kay Kristo at hindi sa atin? Why is it important that salvation is in Christ and not in ourselves? Why? Kasi hindi tayo, tatanggap, hindi tayo tinatanggap ng Diyos dahil sa ating mabubuting gawa o magandang loob o malinis na puso. No? No, God does not receive us because of our good works. God doesn't receive us because we're such a nice person. Are you always a nice person? No. God doesn't receive us because we have such good heart. Now, you, you may have a good heart, but that's not salvation. You see, tayong lahat ay makasalanang tao. Romans chapter 3 verse 23, For all have sinned. 
and come short of the glory of God. All of us ay may pagkukulang, may pagkakamali. Kahit na yung mabuti sa atin, may halong kamalian. Uh, kahit na yung pinakamalinis na puso ng tao, meron pa rin kabaluktutan, kadiliman na nasa loob ng puso ng tao. Ang sabi ng Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 9, ang puso ng tao ay mandaraya, higit sa lahat at lubos na masama. Pansinin mo ang sinabi ng, ng, ni Jeremiah sa puso ng tao. Mandaraya, <clears throat> we are uh, mandaraya, higit sa lahat at lubos na masama. Sinong nakakaalam kung gaano ito kasama? Yun ang tanong ni Jeremiah. So the, the word of God teaches us that our hearts, yes, you may have a nice heart, you may have a good heart, you may have an honest heart. But the Bible says that our hearts are deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse number 9. And then he asked the question, who can know it? Who can know the extent of how evil our hearts could be? Oh, I, I think only God knows how evil, even ourselves, we don't know what evil we are capable of doing in our hearts. And so we need a savior. We need somebody to save us from ourselves, outside of ourselves. Uh, totoo ikaw ay makasalanan, totoo na ikaw ay may sala, totoo ikaw ay, may, ay kawawa talaga, totoo na hinahatulan tayo ng batas ng Diyos, hinahatulan din tayo ng konsensya natin, ng sarili natin, winawasak na wasak na wasak ang buhay natin sa kasalanan at nadadamay tayo dahil sa kasalanan ng iba. Uh, Uh, patungo po ang tao na hindi ligtas sa impyerno. Ngunit, kung ikaw ay tumingin kay Kristo Jesus, kung ikaw ay sumampalataya kay Kristo Jesus, at tunay na ikaw ay umasa sa Kanya, ikaw ay gagawing ganap o matuwid ng Panginoon. Oh, I want you to know, yes, you're a sinner. Yes, you're guilty. Yes, you've broken the law of God. Yes, you're on your way to an eternal hellfire. But I want you to know that if you would take a simple look of faith to the Lord Jesus Christ, if you can just simply believe him and trust in him and call upon him and turn from your sin and take the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, you can be saved because Jesus made a way. Jesus shed his blood. He was the lamb sacrifice for your sin. And so now that if you are in Christ Jesus, guess what? There is now no condemnation for them who are in Christ Jesus. Oh, ang tunay na handa ay yung mananampalataya kay Kristo lamang. Siya ang handa na humarap sa isang banal na Diyos. Dahil hindi, niya, hindi siya nakatayo sa sarili niyang kabanalan sa sarili niyang kabutihan, nakatayo siya kay Kristo Jesus at na, nakatiklop siya sa kabutihan ng Panginoong Heso Kristo. Oh, the person who is ready to meet God, that's the person who is in Christ Jesus. Because as he stands before a holy God, he stands in the righteousness of the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He doesn't stand on his own righteousness. Our righteousness is filthy rags. Our righteousness is worthless. But the righteousness that is bestowed upon us and covers us, we're covered in the righteousness of the Lord Jesus Christ. And his righteousness becomes our righteousness by the sacrifice and the blood atonement of the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So kung nais mo na maging malinis yung puso mo, kung nais mo na maging taimtim ang puso mo, kung nais mo na yung puso mo ay maging punong-puno ng kapayapaan at pananampalataya, kung nais mo na bigyan ka ng bagong puso ng Panginoon, espiritual na buhay, kaibigan, huwag kang tumingin sa iyong sarili, tumingin ka kay Jesus Christ. Yun. Yon ang tunay na kaligtasan, yung umaasa, yung tumitingin sa Kanya at sa Kanya lamang. Wala hong halong uh, relihiyon nito, wala hong halong gawa, walang halong sakramento, walang halong ritual, walang halong tubig, langis, usok, kandila, rosario, wala hong kahalong dyan. 
uh, tunay na pananalig lamang, mapayapang pananalig sa Panginoong Heso Kristo. Gaya ng umaasa ka sa Panginoong Heso Kristo. Siya ang tagapamagitan, siya ang tagapagtubos, siya ang tagapagtanggol, siya ang tagapagligtas. Oh, that's the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And it's not mixed in with Jesus and rosary or Jesus and the necklace, Jesus and the candle, Jesus and smoke, Jesus and the sacraments, Jesus and baptism. No, none of that. It's only through Jesus Christ alone. Alone. No mixture of religion. No mixture of works. No mixture. It's just faith. Believing the Lord Jesus Christ. Realizing He is the substitutionary sacrifice and payment for me. He paid it for me. He made a way. And I enter in upon that when I take Him as my Lord and Savior. And I don't need water. And I don't need oil. You see, I, I don't need smoke. <laughs> I don't need candles. I don't need church for salvation. I only need Jesus Christ. Oh, this is what it's talking about. Are you in Christ? So ang invitasyon ng Panginoon. Listen to the invitation of Jesus. Handa ka na ba? Kaibigan, tanungin muna kita. Handa ka na ba sa, na humarap sa isang banal na Diyos? Are you ready? Are you prepared to meet a holy God? Are, are you ready for death? Are you ready for the judgment beyond death? Are you ready to face the Creator and Redeemer God? The, tr the thrice holy Jehovah God Almighty? Oh, are you prepared? <clears throat> Let me say that one look of faith on the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, is enough and sufficient to prepare you to see the Lord. Yon, magiging handa ang iyong kaluluwa sa isang tingin lamang ng pananampalataya sa kordero ng Diyos, sa Panginoong Heso Kristo. Tunay na pananalig at pananampalataya sa Kanya. Now, hindi kailanman kilala si Heso Kristo na tumatanggi sa isang mapakumbabang makasalanang tao. Never niya nireject ang isang tao na tunay na lumalapit sa Kanya at nananalig sa Kanya. Uh, Jesus never rejected a sinner who humbly comes to Him and prays for forgiveness and, and asks for mercy. Everyone that comes to Jesus, He will in no wise reject. The Bible teaches us that. Uh, look at John chapter 6, verse 37. Tingnan mo ang testimony ni John, sa so John chapter 6 and verse number 37. John 6, 37. All that the Father giveth me shall come to me, and him that cometh to me I will in no wise cast out. Sabi ng Bible, ang lahat ng ibinigay, ng ibinigay ng Ama sa akin ay lalapit sa akin. At ang lumalapit sa akin ay hinding hindi ko itataboy. Ang lumalapit kay Kristo hindi niya tinataboy. Kahit na masamang tao, kahit na may masamang nakaraan, kahit ano, sino siya, maging uh, uh, relihiyoso siya o hindi, kahit sino siya, ang sino mang lumalapit kay Kristo, sabi ng Biblia, hinding hindi ko siya itataboy, sabi ng Panginoong Yeso Kristo. Huwag pakinggan si Satanas. Huwag mong pakinggan yung iyong pagdududa. Huwag mong pakinggan yung um, sarili mong tradisyon. Huwag mong pakinggan yung iyong mga nakaraan. Huwag mong pakinggan yung sarili mong mabubuting gawa. Kahit sino ka man, sa pamamagitan ng pananampalataya, maaari kang lumapit kay His Heso Kristo at tanggapin siya bilang Panginoon ng iyong buhay. Natandaan ang dakilang imbitasyon ng Panginoon. Remember the great invitation of Jesus Christ. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Sabi ng Panginoon, lumapit kayo sa akin. Kayong lahat ng napapagod at may, nabig, um, may mabigat na pasanin at ibibigay ko kayo ng kapahingaan, sabi ng Panginoon. Oh, 
What a precious promise. Kaibigan, sabi ng Panginoon, lumapit ka sa akin. Kaya ang tamang sagot, Opo, Panginoon, ako ay lalapit sa iyo. Tanggapin mo si Yesu Kristo bilang iyong tagapagligtas at matutuklasan mo ang pagpapala ng paglapit sa Panginoong Yesu Kristo. Would you do that? <clears throat> If Jesus says, come unto me, you know what you should do? You should say, yes, Lord, I will come unto you. Would you bow your heads and close your eyes? Let's pray and ask the Lord to bless. But before we pray, I want to challenge you. I want to ask you, how many would say, Pastor Bill, Brother Bill, I don't have peace in my heart that I am a child of God. I don't know for sure if I'm saved. I don't know the Lord as, as, as my Savior. I, I don't think I'm prepared to meet the Lord. Well, certainly, if you're not in Christ, you're not ready to meet the Lord. And Jesus says, come unto me. You need to repent of false teaching, repent of false doctrine, repent of, of sin, repent of going your own way and turn from that and turn to Jesus Christ. Jesus loves you. He died for you. He was sacrificed on the cross, was buried, and he rose again from the grave according to the scriptures. And he says, come unto me. Dear friend, even if you're not worthy, if you come to him, he will in no wise cast you out. He will give you eternal life. He will forgive you of your sins. He'll give you peace. He'll cleanse you. He'll take you to heaven when you die. But you have to believe in him. You have to have faith in him alone. Will you take the Lord alone? Apart from church, apart from rituals, apart from all that. Simply believing, trusting in the Lord Jesus Christ. And if you really trust him, then you don't need your necklace. You see, you don't need the candles. You don't need ceremony. You go to him by faith. And if you go to him, he will not reject you. Take him as your savior. He'll forgive you. He loves you. He died for you. You need to believe in him. Trust in him. Call upon him. He's willing to save. Kung may tanong patungkol dito, paki-message na lang para mabigyan kayo ng gabay. Let's pray. And ask the Lord to bless. Father in heaven, we thank you, Lord, that you've given us your help that you've given us help through the word of God. I certainly pray that many would come to know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, that they would truly repent and believe on the Lord, that they would know that they can have confidence and rely upon Jesus alone. Help them to stop relying on their own philosophy and their own experience and their own good works. Help them not to be boastful and proud of their selves or help them to be humble and call upon the name of the Lord and believe in him. And when they do, you will move into their life. You will give them peace. You will give them joy. You'll give them salvation. You'll give them hope for eternal future, Lord, the hope of eternal life. I pray that they would come to faith in Jesus Christ. They would truly, truly be true disciples of the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We love you, Lord, and ask that you bless now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. <clears throat> Now, salamat po sa pakikinig ninyo sa um, umaga nito. Medyo konting um, kaguluhan no, sa internet. No? Hindi natin alam kung patay sindi ang, ang live stream natin. Pero sana mamaya this afternoon maging maayos na. No? <clears throat> so don't forget 3 o'clock yung afternoon service natin. Kung kayo, nanunod kayo, tapos may tanong kayo patungkol sa kaluluwa, patungkol sa inyong relasyon sa Panginoong Yeso Kristo, mangyari lang na i-message kami at o bigay mo sa akin yung cellphone number niyo, ganyan, mag-text tayo, mag-usap tayo. <clears throat> uh, interesado po kami na makipag-ugnayan sa iyo patungkol sa inyong kaluluwa. Uh, pwede niyo mag magbigay ng message na, send message na lang po. Ano. Alright? 
3 o'clock, huwag kalimutan. Tapos Wednesday, uh, sa Wednesday naman, 7.30 ng gabi, Wednesday, pinag-aaralan natin yung Bible prophecy. Okay? So, uh, maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. God bless you. At huwag kalimutan maghugas ng kamay. Okay? Don't forget, <laughs> wash your hands. Wash your hands. Let me, uh, let me shut this off. <laughs>